Hi folks, this is Steve Grono from Chestnut Home Builders and I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the mini woodland. I'm going to deliver this house tomorrow to the uh, to the client and I just my last minute to video it for you. So uh, it's starting to rain here a little bit so I'm going to try to get inside. But basically the, our mini woodland model here, this is the Craftsman Elevation and uh, this has a uh, package on it where some of the stuff is standard included and some of it's optional. So as we go through I'll try to point that out to you. But uh, just wanted to give you a quick idea how this house lays out and what it looks like. Um, this one obviously has stone and hardy. Um, it has a full, uh, a lot of cool gables and hips in the roof pattern. It's a real neat craftsman roof line on it. Has some nice pediments, uh, these pyramid uh, porch posts. Everything on this house on the exterior is completely maintenance free, um, meaning that it doesn't require any painting. Uh, there's nothing on this house of exposed wood. It's all completely maintenance free on the exterior. Um, again, hardy siding, brick, and uh, Tamco 30 year shingles uh, make up the exterior. All of this concrete that we do is steel reinforced with bridging and 5 8 re rod. It's all 3500 PSI mix with fiber mesh, so we try to make sure the concrete is good quality concrete. So here we are at the front porch. These uh, porch columns are a pyramid shape. Um, the front porch area itself is covered. Now I can tell you this is approximately six feet wide by about 22 feet long this way. Um, we finish these soffits on with some recessed LED lighting up top. And then this is sort of a vaulted ceiling up in the porch entry area. Uh, the front door has the highlight transom window and the two side lights. Um, <clears throat> there's a plug out here for uh, Christmas lights and that kind of stuff. Um, the uh, exterior of the house um, as far as the aluminum I'm, I'm sorry as far as some of the trim all of this trim is is either azac which is what these columns are azac is a composite so it you know obviously doesn't need paint or maintenance or anything like that it lasts pretty much forever just the way you see it there or we have custom bent aluminum wrap on all of our framing so you don't have anything up here to you know service or or maintain in the future. It's all pretty much maintenance free. So we'll go inside. Uh, again, we're just we're delivering this house tomorrow, 11 o'clock. So this is my last chance to get a quick video of it for you. Okay, so coming in the front door of the mini woodland, um, this has a Craftsman uh, package of trim. Um, it's called uh, we call it modern farmhouse. Some people call it Craftsman. But uh, the, the foyer area, when you first come in, is about 7 feet wide, and it's about 12 feet long this way. On the right side, over here, you have your um, office uh, den, kind of flex room area. Uh, this space is approximately 15 by 15. It's pre-wired for cable, so you have a, plenty of electronic outlets in here and plugs. It's got chair rail and craftsman trim shadow boxing around the lower half. The upper half has a uh, sort of a radius crown and um, a little a little A9 drop, and then the again the Craftsman style farmhouse style trim around the casing. Um, all the windows in the house are Anderson 2900 series silver line. They're a high quality window, single hung. These have the muttons in them. Uh, we use a E366 glass in this window. It's one of the best uh, energy efficient uh, windows that you can buy. Uh, the house is framed in two by six, so that's why you have this deep um, jam extension around all your windows. Uh, you'll see a, you'll see that because it's a it's a, again it's a two by six framing. Uh, the framing with two by six allows us to do a what we call a flash and bat insulation package, um, which is closed cell foam insulation throughout all the walls all the way to the bond, and then and then a uh, R19 bat over that. So it gives you like an R24 with a zero percent thermal transfer. It's an awesome insulation package. Okay, coming out of the the den on your left is your main coat closet. It's right here. Um, these are sort of built out already with a just a hanging rod and a shelf. Coat closet is about four feet by about six feet. And then it just opens up into the great room and kitchen dining area. This goes down to the finished walkout lower level. I'll take you down there probably last. Uh, but again, it's a ranch. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath ranch. This is 2,000, uh, let's see, the mini woodland, 2,250 square feet on the first floor and approximately 1,500 square feet of finish on the lower level walkout. Uh, floor, is, this is a Viking 5-inch plank floor, hand scraped. Um, the uh, area to my left, this is the um, built-ins at the end of the family room area. This space is approximately 6 feet wide on each side, 6 to 7 feet wide on each side of the fireplace area, which is right there. It has a granite top, 
cabinets below, lighted center cabinets with glass in the doors, plug in the back wall, an elliptical framed upper soffit with a LED light above that, and that breaks into this stepped tray ceiling up above, which is really a very interesting little architectural feature. It's all uh, backlit with puck lights at the little monuments around the ceiling line. Um, this room in total on the um, great room area right here, if you take it from the kitchen island to um, uh, the fireplace over there, that is approximately uh, 18 feet by approximately 25 feet across this way. You have this large picture window in the back and that looks out to your rear yard. Uh, again, uh, you know, Anderson 2900s, um, the deep uh, jam extensions. Uh, each window has a um, sort of a uh, monument trim over the top of each window that match at the same elevation. If you look at the elevation of that trim from main picture window, door wall, window, you carry it around the kitchen area, ties into the same elevation height over here in your entryway. So just kind of, it's the feng shui, I guess you'd call that. There's a, there's a plug in the floor right here. The furniture layout goes this way and an L shape this way. And then you have your fireplace. These are 36 inch heatilators. Um, with the uh, brick backs has a mantle custom built oak mantle above it stained to match the cabinets right there We wire this up with cable and a chase that chase goes down into the cabinet over here If you keep in case you want to put a gaming unit and run an HDMI cable up in there It's pre-wired for you and then you have stone around all your uh, fireplace area Okay, so that's the uh, kind of the family room the kitchen area proper has an oversized center island right here It's approximately four feet by about nine feet has a large jumbo undermount stainless single bowl sink. Uh, we use all mowing fixtures. They're the best that, in my opinion, no warranty issues and they're all um, uh, high functioning and no, no leaks, no drips. Uh, included with all our homes is uh, the appliance package that you see here. This is a Frigidaire gallery, um, followed by the cabinet system over here. Now these cabinets underneath the sink are approximately 48 wide by 24 deep. There's a little plumbing in there. We do include the garbage disposal. Then to the right of that, right here, you have a recycle bin with two, two uh, tubs. Above that, a uh, silverware drawer. You know, these are only about three inches tall, about 18 inches wide, 24 deep. And then you have this little side cabinet right over here. This one's about, uh, this is about 14 wide by 30 deep by about 32 tall. A little step shelf in the back right there. And then around the side of the island, you have finished... Uh, uh, panels that match the cabinets you have plug and then around the front we have this these uh, cabinet door fronts on this particular model that match all the cabinets as well and as you can see the center island is an offset color from the rest of the kitchen cabinets okay so the back bar on the kitchen right here these are all Marilot classic um, they're all white as you can see cabinets are about 16 wide 12 deep 12 tall and there's one two three four of those and then to the left of that, you have this other larger one. Again, 16, 12 by 12, one, two, three, four of those. And then you have this center um, uh, hood, vented hood, with a pot filler and tile backsplash. We have under cabinet lighting included also. Granite countertop, five burner gas, Frigidaire gallery cooktop right there. And then below that, by the way, the same matching cabinet on the left side of the center um, cooktop area. And then below that the cabinets are as follows. You have this large cabinet. This is where you put all your garage door openers, touch-up kits, warranty books, spare caulk that matches, some spare LED bulbs and that kind of stuff. This is again only about three inches tall but it's about 32 inches wide and about 24 deep. And then below this you have these larger ones with rollouts. These, um, again these rollouts are shallow but they're about that tall. They're about eight inches tall. Uh, again, about 30 to 32 wide, 24 deep, and the open shelf on the bottom the same size. All of this stuff is soft close. Uh, to the left of that is your uh, area under the cooktop. You have the same kind of a size here. This is about a four inch height, 32 by 24. A larger one here, this one has a good height on it. I'd say about eight to nine inches tall, and again, 32 by 24. And below that one is a matching one right there. Then to the left of that, you have a matching set just like the set we just looked at over there. So that's kind of your whole backsplash, uh, I'm sorry, your whole cooktop area in the, uh, in the kitchen. Then you go to your left and here's the rest of the kitchen over here. This starts over with this little um, 
countertop on this side. Uh, this countertop, just to give you an idea of the size, this is about 30, no, it's about 28 inches deep and about 30 inches wide. It's a pretty good size, tile backsplash, undermount uh, cabinet lighting and a GFI plug in the back. This cabinet on the top gives you a depth of about 12, a width of about 32, and the overall height of this is about 32, and you have one, two, three adjustable shelves in there. Below that, underneath, same drawer we had on the other side, about four inches high by 32 by 24. And then underneath, we have another rollout, like so. That's about eight inches in height by 32 by 24. Some matching space underneath in the bottom there. Then you have your uh, Frigidaire um, gallery fridge. Um, as I say, these come standard in our homes. Really nice fridge. This is a, um, a good one. It's, a, it's not a low line unit, it's a pretty high line unit actually. Uh, the depth on this fridge part is about uh, 24 inches deep. It's about 36 inches wide. It has one, two, three, four shelves here, plus the two crispers. And then up here is your ice maker. In the door, it has several shelves as well on that side, and one, two, three shelves on that side. Underneath, for the freezer portion, this is a rollout freezer. Um, it's about, uh, overall, the width is approximately uh, 36 by about 18 deep by the height or the depth, I should say, of about 16. That's your, uh, these are matte finish stainless, by the way. Then you have this wall oven and uh, microwave setup, another Frigidaire gallery unit. This microwave is about 16 inches deep, about 14 inches wide, and about 13 inches tall. Below that is your Frigidaire gallery wall oven. Um, this is a pretty big oven, it's probably 28 inches wide by 28 inches deep by 20 inches tall. It's a really big oven. Below the bottom of it, there's another space for pots and pans down here. Above it, right here on the top, these cabinets, pantry cabinets. Depth on this one's about 24 by 30 wide by a spacing of 12, and there's one, two, three of those. And to the right over the fridge, you have more cabinets there. Then to the left of, um, to the, left of the uh, wall oven setup is a matching countertop just with the same cabinets as you have on that side over there. There's also crown molding above the top of the cabinets. Goes well with the upper crown trim and the monument lighting in the ceiling. Uh, right, right in the middle, well, you have two pendant uh, lights above the uh, center island. Right here's where your dining room table will go. You can seat six to eight right here comfortably. Uh, and that extends out to your covered deck. So this covered deck, right here with the, you know, of course, roof on it. We have a fan box up there, four LED can lights. This is completely enclosed and softened and trimmed and wrapped aluminum. No maintenance, hardy siding again. This is a composite deck, so there's no maintenance on that, and a composite rail system all the way around. This is about 13 by 13 with a gas line there for your grill in the corner. So that's your deck. And, okay, so that's the main area. Let's go uh, into the master. This um, trim is all arched top. You go through this little space here on the right side. Over here, we have a linen closet. Big spaces, about 22 inches deep, 36 wide, and the overall height's about eight feet, and you have one, two, three, sh uh, three shelves in there. By the way, all the doors are solid core, heavy doors, brush nickel, lever action, Schlage hardware, Craftsman style. Okay, turn left, we go in the master. Uh, this is a Shaw 42 ounce carpet. Uh, same carpet I have in my home. It's real high quality, heavy duty stuff. It has eight pound pad underneath it. Um, the master bedroom here is about uh, 16 by 17. It's a really good size. It has a vaulted ceiling with a ceiling fan and four LED lights. Two double uh, single hung Anderson windows there. Left side is for your wall mounted TV with a cable and a chase down to the bottom. Um, two supply heats on the uh, heat HVAC, very comfortable in here, very temperature controlled. Going through into the master bath, right here, this master bath is pretty large. It's about um, 10 feet by 10 feet this way in this part of the bath. It has a double sink, rectangular undermount, mowing uh, brush nickel fixtures, the mirrors come standard, lights are standard, these are alabaster shade triples with an overhead transom window to bring natural light in here for doing the makeup and stuff. Granite countertop, granite backsplash, all the cabinets underneath, again Marilot Classic Series cabinets, and these are uh, 24 deep by 30 wide and about 30 tall, there's a little plumbing in there. 
kind of gets in the way of some things. You have this center section of drawers that's kind of cool. These are about four inches tall by 12 wide by about 20 deep. And there's one, two, oh, these are bigger. These are about eight or 10 inches tall by 12 by 20. And there's two of those, same on this side. This right here is your heated floor uh, control. Uh, and this tile floor right here, it has an electric grid underneath it. My feet are on it right now and they're toasty warm on my stock and feet here. Um, so you have a heated tile floor in here, as, uh, which is of course an option, but as again, some of the things are standard, some of them are options, and they're in our, they're in our paperwork. When you, when you look through the paperwork, you can tell exactly what's included. But this is honestly how we build most of the homes this way. Shower is designed to be a roll-in shower, so there's no curb. This works if you're hurt, handicapped. If you have any kind of disability issue, you can roll right in this shower. There's a granite seat over here. There's a handheld right here on this side. Then on the top, you have two recessed LEDs with a shower head, rain head at the top. Soap dish right, soap dish left. Center band of tile there. Double controls here for your uh, sunflower and for your wall mounted uh, handheld right there. Also, the ceiling is tiled as well. Uh, okay, so um, private little toilet area right there. By the way, all our toilets are elongated comfort height. That means they're a little taller and they're longer and they're high efficiency uh, toilets. On the right side, uh, two, two walk-in closets, right side his closet. His closet's about six by six. All this built-in stuff's included standard. You don't pay extra. It's a hanging rod on the left that's about four feet wide by about seven feet tall with two shelves. Then there's a hanging rod upper and a hanging rod lower in the back wall. Overall about six feet wide. And then you have a shoe rack right here on this side. That's about uh, 22 inches wide by about 12 inches deep. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shelves there. And that makes up his closet. This is her closet. Uh, much bigger. This one is uh, about eight feet long and you have a hanging rod there with a shelf and then upper you have the same thing about eight feet hanging rod shelf upper and then on this side of the closet you have another shoe rack one two three four five six seven shelves with a plug in the back in case you want to put a charger in here. The back wall has your closet or your I'm sorry your your large higher hanging rod about four feet across and then two shelves above that. When you come out of the uh, her closet, you go directly into the laundry right here where your washer dryer's right there, your folding table's right here, overmount wash sink right here with ca lower cabinets. Um, really nice, convenient. There's your closet, here's your, here's your laundry room attached with, to your master so your clothes don't go far. Uh, there's a door going out into the uh, um, mudroom right here. This is a pocket door. Uh, you come into the mudroom here and you've got your garage door is right there. This is uh, a little feature we build into mostly every home. It has three cubbies above, um, beadboard back with uh, six coat hooks, and then a bench that you sit down and you can throw your boots and stuff underneath and those little cubbies underneath there. On the opposite side is your closet. So when you come in from the garage, here's your closet right here. It's about five feet wide and it has a shelf and a hanging rod in it, 24 deep. And there's your half bath right there. Your half bath is overmount rectangular undermount sink sorry and, a, and a, your uh, elongated comfort height uh, toilet comes just like you see it and then uh, so that makes up those uh, three critical areas as soon as you come in your garage door you got a half bath closet and your bench and your coat hooks um, the garage right here is a pretty interesting garage the mini woodland has four car garage so you have a 16 foot uh, this is an insula insulated uh, door LiftMaster operator with Bluetooth connectivity. As you can see, this drywall is finished just like the interior of the house. It's all finished, sanded, painted two-tone, and insulated uh, with two windows in it and two surface mount lights. You throw a piece of rug in here for holidays and it's just like part of the house. Over here in this door, if you go through this door, here's garage number two. So you have two two-car garage, you have a two and a half and a two actually. This uh, garage is, um, Extra depth, so you have room for lawnmowers and stuff in the back, plus you can still get cars in here. Then there's a side service door that goes outside right over there. Insulated overhead door, just like the other side. So, um, again, the Mini Woodland four and a half car garage. Pretty cool. Oh, we do pre-wire all the houses with the cable for your irrigation system right here that goes into the lower level where your water valve is, so you don't have ugly wiring inside the garage out exposed. One step up and we're in the house. Okay. So you come in the house and to the right is your laundry and your master, center, half bath left, you go right back into the kitchen area and this is really what's really neat is here's a pantry. 
So your groceries go from your car, which is right there, right outside that door, to right here, your groceries, to right there, your kitchen. So it's like two steps away from your car to the pantry, from your pantry to the food prep area. Very, um, pretty well set up. So this shelving in here is about uh, five feet on one wall, about seven feet on the other wall. It's uh, about 18 inches deep. And they're about 18 inches in height on the spacing. And there's one, two, three, four, five shelves high in there. That's your uh, pantry. Then straight across here, you have another pantry. So this is a double pantry. You have this large uh, area. This is about 26 inches deep, about 38 inches wide. And it's about eight feet tall. And there's one, two, three shelves in there. And then you're back in the kitchen area right here. So that gives you an idea of the main living area. Now we'll go into the bedrooms on the opposite side of the house. This is called a split ranch. Master on one side, living through the middle, and then all of your, uh, your two other bedrooms on the left side. This has a uh, uh, two-zone HVAC system in here. I'm gonna show you about that in the basement. Again, we arched up this opening to come through here with some custom casing. Coming through into the two bedrooms, this is your back bedroom. Oh, before you get there, you have this closet. Two linen closets, one here and one there. So there's a double linen here. It's kind of a triple because this is a double wide. This, this linen space is about six feet long, 22 inches deep, about 22 inch spacing. There's one, two, three, four, five shelves in there. Uh, these are um, solid core doors. Again, all the doors in this house are solid core. And then the, here's the bedroom. This is about 13 by 12. Double window looking out the back. Cable on the wall for the TV. And then you have a walk-in closet over here. Uh, closet's about six by six. You have a double hanger there, a single hanger there, and a, a shoe rack over there. Now we'll go over to the other bedroom, and then I'll show you the bath last. Here's the uh, bedroom. I'm sorry, here's the uh, other closet. There's another closet here. This house has a lot of closet space. About four feet wide uh, with a shelf and about 24 inches deep. And then here is um, bedroom number three. Um, this one is a little bit bigger. It's about 14 by 13. Looks out the front of the house, double window with the muttons on top and the craftsman style trim and the casing. Wall mounted TV over there with Cat 5 through the wall. And in the corner here, you have your walk-in closet, big closet. This is much bigger than the other one. It's probably eight feet long, six feet wide, has a double hanger there and a single there and a shoe rack right there. So that's your three bedrooms on the main floor. That's your great room, kitchen, master, and your garage. Now we'll look at the finished lower level. So anchored all our newel posts right down into the framing. You won't be able to move this except with a chain and a truck. Has this uh, hammered um, metal uh, balusters, oak handrails, oak stained handrail to match the cabinets on this side, oak stained skirting and tread extensions on the staircase going down to the lower level with the center waterfall carpet. And as we go down to the lower level, um, I'm going to get into some of the energy efficiency on our homes just briefly, but uh, also all decor switches on this house as well with dimmers is what you see. So you come down the steps, you're looking across at the flex room. That room has been used as an office, people use it as storage, people use it as um, a TV room private, and we can put doors, French doors on that if you want. Um, this is just one configuration, this lower level you're looking at. We can configure the lower level a number of different ways. This is only one way to do it. We did the Craftsman trim down here, the chair rail, shadow boxing, the uh, farmhouse trim above the doors, the casing. In here, this room is approximately 12 by 13, has a wall mount for a TV over there, so you can put your desk over here in the corner. Uh, three LED lights in this one, it's very well lit. And then looking around into this lower level, this has got a beautiful uh, open floor plan down here with a center bar, back bar and a front bar. It's all custom pub style trim, tile, uh, the wood grain style tile. It's the same uh, Shaw carpet with the heavy uh, pad underneath it. This is the second zone thermostat right over here, which I'll show you the HVAC system in a minute. I just want to give you some kind of idea how this looks and how this lays out down here. It's a really nice, large, uh, entertaining area. You could also have a relative living down here, pretty much. You have a walkout right there, wall mounted TV on the wall over there, kind of entertaining the people that are sitting up at the bar here. Um, you have a full bath right here next to the bedroom. This bath is a five by nine, five wide, nine deep. Uh, granite countertop, mirror cabinets, rectangular undermount, one piece fiberglass shower in the back. Same tile we use upstairs. And then your bedroom, which is right here. This bedroom is about uh, 
Uh, 13 by 14 has a wall mount over there, so your bed kind of goes right here. It looks out this way, and then you have a TV over in the corner. You have your closet over there. This is a reach-in closet, so it's about, uh, oh, it's got some built-ins too. So this one, this closet is about uh, one, two, three hanging lockers plus the shelves. And it's about 24 deep and about six feet wide, about eight feet tall. That's your bedroom and bath down here and your study on the left. Then you've got this big entertaining area for gaming and pool table, ping pong table, whatever you want to put down here. The bar, the front bar is all custom pub style birch stained to match the cabinets with these corbels in between. It's a uh, bar style countertop. This countertop is about 36 inches wide by about 11 feet long. We wrap these columns in custom pub style casing and trim. Uh, the finished carpentry in the house is um, as you, when you see it in, per, in person, you'll see it's very well done. Two pendant lights with alabaster shades above the bar. The back bar area with all the cabinets is right here. We do include the undermount lighting, tile backsplash. Um, so right here, you have all those cabinets along the bottom. Plus you have this apartment style under, under counter fridge. Get more cabinets. Upper cabinet bank all across there. And you have a single uh, stainless undermount sink with a Moen fixture and a pull out. And then you have cabinets all across the front of the bar right there. So pretty cool bar. Um, on the left side over here, what you have is another area. This is kind of a fitness and a gym area. It has an open cased opening. You can put doors on this, and this becomes a bedroom because you have another closet. So this can be a five-bedroom home too very easily. Uh, this room is about uh, 14 by 15, and it has a double closet on that side. Looks out the walkout right there. And then finally over here, you have your theater room. This theater room is approximately uh, 24, 24 feet long this way and about uh, 18 feet wide this way. All your pre-wired cable is right in the wall for a big flat screen TV, two LED lights above that. Uh, and then you have some sconces on each side separately lighted and controlled right there. Up at the top, we pull a cable up here. So in case you want to put a projector up there, it's already pre-wired. We have a chase running from there to there. So you can do your uh, projector wiring. Then back here is where the wiring, where your electronics would go right there. There's a chase going back to that area also. All right, so finally, um, this is your storage. Um, the storage space in this, oh, it's on the other side, sorry, this is a closet. Um, this is about four feet wide, about 10 feet long with a slope at the bottom of your staircase, so that's storage. And we'll go into the unfinished storage on this side. Got myself turned around here. Okay, here we go. This is the unfinished storage part. This is about uh, 15 by 20-ish with this cutout for our, our uh, safe room. This is the superior wall system, best wall system, in my opinion, that there is. I'm putting my hand on there. That's probably 70, 72 degrees. Superior is the only wall system that gives you 100% thermal transfer. There is no cold coming in whatsoever from the outside. That dow board uh, a styrofoam insulation is bonded to the concrete while it's being poured, so it's bonded with uh, a complete thermal bond. At the bottom underneath these walls is a limestone footing, 48 inches wide by 10 inches deep, compacted in place. It'll never crack, it'll never settle. These walls are 10,000 pound PSI breaking strength. They are steel reinforced. They are pre-wire, pre, uh, pre-cast for holes so you can run plumbing and electrical. And these little caps allow you to put the drywall right on here for finishing. And you have a perfectly straight, you can see how straight that superior wall is. So you, you don't have any waves like you would in a wood framed wall. At the top of the sill plate there, you have a closed cell foam bond where we lose no energy from the superior wall to the finished floor of the house. There's no energy loss. Above that, we have closed cell again, all the way to the ceiling deck where we have R50. This, is, this house is a Energy Star rated house. It also has a HERS rating. Uh, this beats all energy code uh, requirements in the county by far. As you can see, these, the ductwork is all sealed. If you can see any of that, I'll try to zoom it a little bit. You see how that, that, that uh, all of our ductwork is sealed? Uh, we do have a test that's done after the ductwork is finished and certified to make sure there are no air leaks, no air loss, no energy loss anywhere in the ductwork. The well systems are generally speaking, when you're on a well, uh, our plumber sizes these for the water type that's in each individual house, so we make sure the softener can handle uh, whatever water there is. Our well driller puts these jumbo sized uh, pressure tanks in, so you always have good pressure water in your house. And uh, 
The well is equipped with an upgraded motor, uh, three quarter versus a half horse. We use PEX plumbing throughout our houses. It's extremely quiet, it's extremely reliable. And over here, what I want you to see is this is our safe room. This is space that's directly under the front porch. Typically, you would never get a space like this without a superior wall system. So it would be backfilled with you know, sand, generally, if you don't get this. Uh, and it would not have this deep superior wall, just have a short 42 inch footing. So what you see is you have a space in here that is all concrete, high strength walls all the way around underneath the front porch. This is about uh, 22 feet long. It's about four feet wide at the narrowest and it opens up to about seven feet by 10 feet. We use a uh, steel deck. On top of the steel deck, you have four inches of concrete. This is closed cell foam insulation in here. You don't feel any uh, like, like balminess or anything. This feels just like the same space as you have in your main living area. This is your superior wall as it looks where you normally would have it backfilled. We backfill with sand up against here around the house, two feet of class two sand, which is super good on the wall. It puts an even pressure on the wall. It allows water to perk down into your drain, which is in the 26A limestone chip, which goes right into the sump crock, which I'll show you in a minute for radon recovery. Anyway, this is a really cool space. You can put an iron door on here, a steel door on here with a, with a bolt on it. This becomes a safe room. We've had people finish off these rooms for their collect gun collections and safekeeping room, and it's just like a big vault. Okay, let's, uh, let's get into the mechanical room and then we'll be done. So, mechanical room is right over here. Uh, we use a, a, a very, I would say, a very high-end mechanical. Um, these are, this is the Proline XC, our hot water heater. Uh, you know, it's a very high efficiency, extremely well built. We put a power vent um, uh, flue on it, uh, 50 gallon. And then electrical, as you can see, all of our electrical is very neat and tidy and clean. We use um, 200 amp service panels. Everything is labeled for you so you can see exactly what is what. And um, then over here is a transfer switch. Uh, this one in particular is going out to the barn. This house has a barn on it. Um, here's your, uh, this is your uh, ejector crock, which is a sealed crock for all your lower level plumbing, which takes it out to your septic field. Right over here, this is your radon recovery system and your sump crock. This is, this is super cool. Um, this whole basement underneath the floor is 26A limestone chip. That means when the radon comes up, gets into the chip, the radon gas comes through the chip, and uh, then you have a visqueen barrier, then you pour your concrete. We might say, where does the radon go? Well, the radon goes through the limestone until it gets out to the perimeter drain, which is limestone. And inside of that is our, is our insulated sump uh, drain, which is a four inch um, with the uh, sock on it. That's plumbed right into this sump crock. So your radon ends up all in the sump crock. This three inch vent right here takes the radon right out through the roof of the house right there. So it has a passive radon re recovery system built in. If you ever do get a high radon reading, you just cut this pipe here and here and you put a fan in right there and you plug it in right there. And uh, all of our sump pumps come with two sump pumps, two uh, backflow preventers. So that's why you see two lines coming out. We double them up in case one fails, you got another one, especially with a finished lower level. You never want your basement to flood. Furnace is a mana. This Amana is one of the absolute best furnaces on the market today. We've used it for 10 years, no issues. Uh, very high efficiency, it's 96.3% efficient. We do also use an electronic uh, zone system and hard duct both floors with separate feeds. So we have a separate supply for each level of the house. Each supply has a separate zone valve on it. So you get very even temperature control upper level and lower level with no issues. You don't hear this furnace run, it's super quiet. We also put a April air humidifier on right here. This comes with every house to make sure your trim stays happy. Humidity is supposed to be at 36%, that's where we keep it. And uh, you'll love this uh, HVAC system and these mechanicals in this house. It's the most energy efficient that money can buy. Okay, so I think I've covered most of it. Uh, anybody has questions can reach me at 810-599-5147. Uh, again, Chestnut Home Builders and Real Estate, and we hope to, uh, I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much.